Hi everybody, my name is Atukweku Bani and today I'm going to show you how to design this. Alright, so let's go to Photoshop and uh, Control N. Now if you've been following uh, me, you realize that this week um, I'm concentrating on designing birthday flies. Um, so here is going to be 1000 pixels, the width, the height is also going to be 1000 pixels. Let's call it birthday flyer as usual. So next week, I'm going to upload another birthday flyer for you to also learn from. Okay, so let's click on, make sure it's RGB 8-bit. We are doing this for social media and so um, there's no need to boost the resolution and there's no need for you to change the color mode. So set the settings is like this. You click on OK. You have it like this okay so the next thing we are going to do to fix the background okay, I want a dark theme a dark theme and so let me go for um, something like this also I think I want to design this for a pastor or a leader uh, you know, that kind of figure so uh, it has to the flare has to reflect that as well The DCR I did, I just divided it into two one here, one up. Okay, thing we are going to do is um, let's bring in some cloud here to make the scene also uh, more to hide it yeah to hide it to hide to hide the whole stuff okay click here let's go for lighting let's go for okay I think screen is good screen is good double control G to duplicate it Sorry, push it this way. Push it this way. But anyhow, you want to do it. I think it's cool. So to me, this is good. Okay, come back here. Click here. Click on solid color, and then let's put in this code. Um, zero zero one one five eight. Alright, let's change the blending mode. Let's let's try and figure figure out which one will work. Mm -hmm. I think I love multiply. Nah, so let's go with multiply. Multiply wins. So there is it. Uh, this is it. Click here. Hold shift. Click over here still holding shift click on that one to give us uh, to group it for us so let's call this one BG as you can see everything has been grouped nicely the next thing we are going to do is to bring our image the image which image should we use let's use this one mm, yep let's use this one uh, precise it to the way you want also if you know how I I, I, I I work you realize I like to use rulers a lot so control R to bring your rulers and then bring this here you bring this here you bring this here ladies and gentlemen there one of the one of the reasons why people uh, um, call you an amateur if you are now learning if you're a beginner people will call you an amateur because you don't know how to center your documents make sure everything is centered Okay, so the, the exact size here is the exact size here, the exact size here is the exact size here. Make sure make sure everything is centered nicely. Unless you want to do your own style, but make sure it makes graphic design sense. You see? Now there are some white things around it, white um, strokes around it. I want it to be off. 
so I hold control and I click on the image hold control click on the image don't click here click here okay then you click on select up here go to refine edge then push the radius to about five to nine then push the smooth up a little bit to about seven or ten make sure the contrast also goes up to about eleven then bring the edge down to minus um, 30 or something I think we should boost the radius a little bit up again Push the smooth pull back the contrast sorry um, yeah, the contrast should go a little bit to the right and then the shift edge should come to the left a little bit okay I think this is good this is good so you click here selection come and choose new layer with layer mask and then you click on all key all right so now you would realize um this was this was how it was now this is how it is now okay this this looks quite good so you click on b to bring about your brush select this one as usual um increase the size a little bit then make sure here is black and you you have here selected and then you delete it sweet 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 ladies and gentlemen this looks good this looks good um click over here let's go and look for curves click here so this way it works only on this doesn't work on the ones um, beneath it okay hold here and pull it down a little bit okay click here let's try again we see love to experiment I think this is good so you click here then you pull here down a little bit this looks good this looks magical so you click here and then you click here then control G shortcut for grouping let's call this image in that beautiful um you're going to look for happy birthday which which one should i use should i use this this or this uh i think i'm going to use this i'll go with this i'll go with this i'll go with this nice 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 so ladies and gentlemen i'm going to leave all the documents in the description for you to use okay but this color red, I don't want the color red. I want something whitish or yellow just to blend the color nicely. So I go to color overlay. Now, if you're wondering how I did it, I double clicked here, went to color overlay, clicked here, and then put in this code. Um, let's use CDA004. I think this color looks quite good. This color looks quite good. You can use any color, but make sure the color blends. I think blue and yellow are one of um, these two colors. Really, they really gel and move together. So I like I like to use this color. I think this is good for me. Make sure you click here. Hold shift shift rather click here. Let's name it image. Uh, sorry, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. So everything is being grouped. The next thing we are going to do is uh, we want um, the name to be here and so uh, let's type let's use Franklin 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 um, Gothic okay let's change the color to color white then um, pasta name great make sure this is off make sure the italics is off make sure even the bold is off okay love it just this way and then let's push it here this 
enlarge it a little bit. Oh, this is good. I think this is good. This is good. This is good. This is good. Let's see. Can we do some tweaking a little bit? No. Okay. Make it a little bold. Alright, so this is good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is good. Let's push it here a little bit. Then, let's click here and go and look for Ariel. Ariel, okay. Um, your. Okay. Sorry. Your church international world wide. Well, let's just say this is the name of the church. <laughs> it's a very cool church. Your, your church international worldwide. It's mysterious. That's a kind of mysterious twist to it. See, people love mysterious things. So this is good. International worldwide. Alright, so let's pick this color. Bravo, we are done with this. Um, all we have to do is click here, hold shift, click here, and then control G to put it in a folder. Let's name it name and church. Name and church. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think I think we're done. We, we, let's 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 give the social media handle social media handle um so let's say um what you call it social media handle dot c o m or you could decide whatever this whatever the handle is it doesn't need to be dot com i think let me take the dot com from there that's make it so what about the social media handle? Alright guys, a little bit. A little bit. Then let's bring this. Let's bring this. Um click here. Let's click on the white side. Then click on the mask. Double click here. And um Let's pick invert. Cool, right? Cool, right? Cool, right? Cool, right? Let's smart objects convert it to smart object. Let's pick this. So right click gives you this options. Then you choose the rectangular marquee tool, and then uh, start somewhere from here. Control J. Come back and click it again. Control J. Click here again. This YouTube. Control J. Click there again. this school this school I think we have it now all right so double click here let's go to color overlay click here and change it to white okay now here is white now see click here we don't want to do it over and over again so click here click on um, copy layer style then click here hold shift and click here then right click and then click on paste layer style it applies it to all of them at the same time click here click here now click here and then click here let's name it social media right social media 
yeah. Awesome. 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 Besides it. Oh. Thank you, Lord. Oh, no, 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 no. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. We made a mistake. <laughs> We made a mistake. Let's let's take this one out for the meantime. So, so this one and this one. All right. Make sure this is not selected. All right. Now every now and then we make mistakes. Right. We are human beings. So, so we make mistakes and then we correct our mistakes. Someone is saying that. Hey, how can a professional be making such a mistake? Nah. We all make mistakes. All right back here and then uh, okay so this is it uh, all right so let's see let's see let's see show media handle uh, now let's experiment where we should put it to make the most in Let's give it a uh, shadow. Shadow. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you create your birthday flyer, okay? And so I'm so grateful for sticking around, for watching it to the end, for going through everything. Um, please subscribe to the channel, like the video. If you have any question, please leave it in the comment section. And I promise I'm going to answer as soon as possible. Um, thank you very much for supporting me. Love you all. Peace out.